The East Africa Preterm Birth Initiative here at the University of California, San Francisco is taking a place-based approach to really address the burden of preterm birth. Our initiative is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and we're working collaboratively with partners in Kenya, Uganda and Rwanda, both on the academic level with academic partners and with Ministry of Health officials and collaborators. Preterm birth matters because worldwide over a million infants that are born preterm are dying before 28 days of life. And they're dying because of the associated complications caused by their prematurity. If a child is born prematurely, they are prone to all manner of complications, including infections. So it really starts off from premature death and then it goes on to mental complications. They may have problems with hearing and seeing. And so it's a whole a spectrum of mild to very severe where they have a lot of difficulties in surviving. We have seen most of our health indicators decreasing but we still have an issue with the neonatal mortality. So this is a really good opportunity to not only uh, reduce preterm birth, but also reduce neonatal mortality in general. In Kenya and Uganda, we're conducting implementation research that looks at a package of interventions that includes data strengthening, quality improvement cycles, pronto simulation training, and the introduction of the Safe Childbirth Checklist. In Rwanda, we're conducting a large randomized controlled trial to assess the impact of group antenatal care on preterm birth itself. Group antenatal care is the idea that if you bring women together in a group, you can do education in a richer fashion. And when women hear each other's questions, when women learn how to take a blood pressure of their their neighbor, their friend, they feel more empowered, it, it demystifies the process for them. And you can get a much richer process for education and understanding. One of the other interventions is kangaroo mother care, or sometimes it's called kangaroo care because of course fathers can provide it too, or grandmothers or aunties is really the idea that preterm babies have a much better chance of survival if they're kept skin to skin, usually with their mothers, and get that early exclusive breastfeeding. Another strategy is simulation and team training. We've partnered with Pronto International to develop a simulation program that allows clinicians to experience emergency situations in a way that feels real, gets the adrenaline flowing, and when faced with a preterm birth, clinicians are able to call on that muscle memory to respond in the most optimal way possible and do things right. We know that for sustained change, you really need to impact the whole system. And PTBI has really started from the foundation of data strengthening. So just getting regular data entered into patient records and maternal health registries, that's the beginning of improving the care that these mothers and babies can receive. By creating change in the system that we can sustain over time and can demonstrate leads to better health, we create a model that we can spread to other parts of the world and really show what that process of change really looks like. If at the end of the project, we can demonstrate that through the intervention that we are going to do, we have been able to reduce uh, neonatal mortality, especially among the preterms. And if we can demonstrate this within the PTBI project, then we have a great opportunity to inform the country on how to scale up preterm care. We see success beyond just the individual lives this initiative might save. We recognize the impact of all these preterm births, not only on that individual mother, but also on the family and the community. We do see a future in which these preterm infants survive and thrive and become meaningful members of their communities and contributing to a brighter future for all of us.